And I had two family members here at Aegis. I had my dad, who was 95 when he came, and my stepmother, who has Alzheimer's, and she came at age 89. It was definitely time to move dad into a home where he could get care, and my stepmother, who has Alzheimer, needed care. And we have had two and a half wonderful years of care here at Aegis of Carmichael. And the reason we chose Aegis is I had been impressed by Aegis down Pleasant Hill. And when Dad wanted to come up here to be near his family, Aegis was on my list. And we were highly impressed. It was a cheerful kind of a place. It looked like home. And it looked like you were in kind of a, a hotel type setting. Uh, I have to say, the food was out of this world. Uh, the other thing was that the staff had been here a long time. And I think that speaks well for the staff and the place. It's a kind of setting where people want to stay. Mimi started to deteriorate very, very seriously to the point where it, it looked like the end may be near. And between the hospice nurses and the people here in the staff, they concluded that, uh, that her medication was not uh, the right thing. You know, it was somebody that was really almost checking out mm -hmm. to now outliving him and, and still functioning very well. And talking you know, again. Yeah, and, and, and her dad thought it was a miracle. I mean, I can't say how wonderful, concerned, and what love everybody has given my dad through his time here. And they took very good care of him physically because that's what he needed. And they're still continuing to give my stepmother, Mary, very loving care with her Alzheimer's.